Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about one topic in Rocket League that isn't discussed as much as it probably should be, and that is space. And what I mean by that is generating space on the field and also finding it when you can. So we're going to jump into some ranked games today and talk about where we can find space in the field with our teammates and also against the opponents on the field. So I hope you guys enjoy this in-depth conversation. Let's get right into it. All right, so today's all about how to use space. So we got Sosa and Mektos for the first game. Uh, I don't know who the arrow is, but he's our teammate for today. So we're gonna use space and uh, talk about space. It al it also means against the opponents too. See if we can get a, a good 50-50. That 50-50 gave our team teammate a lot of room. Try to give that to my teammate to go for a shot. Give me a good save. Okay, so makes us through it pretty far. I go high on this. Bump him off. My team has lots of space. Ooh, popped it over to him. Uh, should be open. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so I mean, so far we've we've uh, not really used the space wisely. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about like closing the gap, which is good. But overall, they I think the uh, the opponents have a lot, had a lot more uh, time on the ball than we have. It's fine. Just watching his car, car uh, to know where to go for that. Just trying to watch for boost, boost pads as well. Good demo. And there we go. I think Sosa panicked when I when I flicked it, and they ended up uh, missing the ball. So I just stayed with it. Got another flick over. I think Mektos got demoed too from uh, Arrow. <laughs> I don't know what to call him. Let him stay with that now. Decent flick. It's actually good because it stays with us. That was not a great touch for me though. Gotta wait for this. Good try. I should have probably not went for that. It was already pushed out way too far from our car. And now we get a good, good possession. Close. Pretty awkward. Yeah. That was a little bit awkward that touch. Kind of gave it right back to Sosa where we were in a situation that was pretty dangerous. Gotta make sure we hold on to that. I think he just didn't turn well on the wall. A good pass across. I was trying to block that side because that's where he's going to go. That's going to be a goal. Um, I think there's a little bit more time to delay for your challenge there uh, until they get closer to the net because we're, they're not really good. They're not really going to have like full uh, setup off the kickoff. Try to pop this middle so my teammate can follow it. I fake this as well. Behind both of them. I can get the corner boost. So just using the space to uh, keep our challenges. Should not have went for that. Should be okay though. Should have grabbed this boost. Good 50 50. Should be a chance for arrow here. Whoever this is. Decent flick. Both of them go though. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to flip towards the boost and hit it a little bit further uh, ahead, but good catch from a team. It's off. There we go. That little quick change up was really good when you got that 1v1 opportunity. So Sosa was uh, trying to cover the ball, but he ended up getting tripped up. So once I saw that, I knew I had some space. Just do a little quick change up, get the backflip in. Not the greatest touch. Pops it up though. I'll let Mektos waste all his boost. So stay with this. Hopefully that's in. Nice. Yeah, so I did a little change up there. I didn't need to touch the ball as it was rolling in the corner because it was just super close to me. And if they challenge, it just goes right to my teammate. Uh, so I just wait for the ball to go up the wall, use the space, and then get that quick shot. I'm going to get challenged right away here. So I'm just going to go for a quick touch. Okay, so I also went for an immediate challenge. Couldn't quite make it. And we get another free goal. He's trying. To, I think he was trying to like push it a little, little too hard because obviously they only have like 40 seconds left at the time. So I knew he was going to try and challenge something. Probably should have had a better challenge than that though, but yeah, I'm gonna put it to the corner. Hey, no one's going on the ball here, so I guess we're just gonna stay with this. Good save. Decent shot. Oh, almost. Well, that was a pretty good first game. I mean, we're pretty much where we left off from the last episode. I think I played a few offline. I think I was uh, or off off YouTube videos. I think I lost a few. I don't really play too much ranked. 
uh, nowadays, but I'm trying to play more for you guys because I know you guys like to see it uh, as just, just as much as the custom content sometimes. But, you know, I try to keep the custom content going. Uh, sometimes it's hard, but uh, we'll move into the next game. Speaking of custom content, I currently am working on a very, very big project. You can see one building that's kind of done. It's not fully done yet. Uh, the rest of the buildings are kind of just placeholders right now, but um, this is called Breaking Point. It was made by a Reddit user. I'll have the photo on the screen here. Uh, this is I'm trying to build it in reference to uh, how it looked in the in the the picture. So it's a concept art that uh, is a standard map. This is basically the middle building here. You can, you can't really see too many of the details right now because I'm just working on uh, making all that happen right now. But as you can see, there's some overgrowth on the side here, and I've also done some on that building over there. It's not as bright as the uh, as the one in the picture yet. I'm trying to I tried to match the saturation of the grass with this grass here. Uh, which is a lot less bright green like those leaves over there that I tested uh, and I don't really I'm not really a big fan of those so <laughs> I changed it to this mossy big gloopy stuff which is kind of cool it looks kind of overgrown and the colors of the building look pretty good uh, yeah let me know you guys what, what you guys think of this uh, so far and what you want to see in the map uh, I've only got so much in the video in the picture to go off of as a concept art so I'm kind of you know doing some creative freedom over here with some terraces and I've got a pool that's gonna be over here uh, with like some moss in it and stuff. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff I still have to work on. And uh, Swag was actually helping out a little bit with some of the map design. But so far, it's looking pretty good. All right, we got Forbidden Temple. We got Roldas and Arrow. It's Arrow again. <laughs> He's back. Um, we got Arrow and uh, Roldas versus me and Gibig, I guess. Decent 50 50. Hopefully, he can be there. Good patience. Once again, I'm going to try and use the space again. I got to think about that. Because in 2v2, it's all about space. Let him go. It's fine. Should be Gibbix touches now. World just goes for the mid boost. It's all good. Go for the fake here. It's around both of them. World is pretty low. As long as we can get that. Okay, that corner boost is now there. So we gotta be a little careful. Good. Oh, I should not have waited. Okay, though, as long as I don't actually challenge it, I'm okay. Ah, it's not good. Not the touch I wanted. Oh, and my teammate didn't get it. Unfortunate. It wasn't the greatest shot, but Gibbig didn't quite get it. I shouldn't have passed it out, though. I wasn't sure where my teammate was. I was trying to keep it close. I ended up tossing out mid. Not the greatest. Go for the 50 50 again. Just trying to focus on getting good touches. See if we can pass it middle, maybe? Close. He kind of just stood there. If I put that around him a little bit more, it would have been would have been a goal for us. over oh my teammate went oh no oh yo yo yoy. I did not think Gibbig would go again unfortunately so we do he he was still spawning and I, I there wasn't really a panic he actually scared me because I thought it was the opponent if there was no one actually jumping for that I'm not sure why he jumped so early uh, that's why it scared me he was like there's no reason for us to panic if uh, if there's you know no one going and uh, he kind of panicked because if there's no one there you definitely should just wait Anyway, let's move on. Around the one. Oh, I didn't. I didn't expect that that challenge right away. Okay, I'm gonna knock him out. It's a bit of an awkward game so far. We can bring it back though. Get cleared on the field. It's a decent shot. Pretty sure the world is pretty low. Once again, Gibbig's really far away. He should be challenging this pretty soon. Pumping him. That should be open. Nice. So right there, I knew I had space in the corner. So instead, what I do is I just go for the the, the player that's in mid, and then the ball rolls into an open spot. Oh, we got we got a minute twenty-five here. Got the boost. Not the greatest touch for me because it's gonna go right to roll it is. Should we get big now? Get off the corner. It's a fast shot. Give me a saved. It's a decent shot. Should at least force them to pass the ball to our team. Good save again. Gonna get the corner. Should be a pass across. All right, there we go. Just forcing him in. I hit that a little too hard. I shouldn't have pa passed it down the field like that because it's going to be a uh, roll Diz's ball. Got the boost from him. 
close. We got a number one player. Ask me a goal. Or game, not goal. <laughs> Unfortunate. A little bit awkward from that game. I mean, honestly, I feel like I didn't play too bad. The, f the first half was a little awkward. But uh, overall, I mean, it was a GC3. Uh, I'm surprised Roll does his GC3, actually. He probably doesn't play ranked at all, but... Uh, it was not a bad game. So yeah, I find it pretty. I found it pretty hard to play that last game, but overall it wasn't too bad. I feel like Gibbig was a little bit less experienced with playing against people like Rolled is, because it seems like he was pretty panicky about his touches and stuff. And overall, the spacing was just pretty far. But let's move back here. Let's get the boost. Good challenge. Hey, it's Arrow once again. This must be somebody. Let's see if I can stay with this in the air. Oh, close. Good fake. Get this across. Performance still there. Good challenge. Good 50 50 as well. I'm going to bump Torment if I can. Oh, nice finish. <laughs> it was really risky for me to go for that. I think that uh, it was pretty t tough for Torment in that position. So I had a good amount of confidence that it was going to work out and ended up that memory just followed it anyway. So it works out close i was thinking about passing that back to keep it close i wasn't sure how close uh memory would be to challenge 50 50 can't bump the other guy i was trying to bump him but it works out see if you can follow it oh close go for the corner here There we go, maybe? Oh, that's not great. Good 50 50 though. We still got a goal lead. Alright, that was close. I had to wait for the challenge from, from uh, memory to be able to make sure I cover all the options that are left. Fake this. Let him touch it to him. Good pop. That forces him off the corner boost at least. It wasn't the touch I wanted. Should have popped that left more because it's gonna be a clear from them. End up throwing it back to us in mid though. Fake. Oh, it's okay. Good catch. One of those awkward situations in in Rocket League where it's like no matter. Oh, he bumped him. Is that gonna be in? Now he's got it. Where like you're both in the same position. Give it the corner here. Good 50 50. I'm gonna stay with this uh this mid boost and then try to turn in for uh, the challenge here. That's exactly what happens, and I can see the open shot. As long as I shoot that soft enough that it doesn't get in the way of the guy who fell behind Torment, I knew the shot was open. Let's see if we can follow up this this kickoff. Not quite, but Emery can. Get a shot towards target that's awkward enough that they can't follow it up. Now Emery has a, a opportunity. A decent 50 50 from them. Hopefully, this boost spawns. I'm just gonna wait. Probably shouldn't have, but it works out. <laughs> that could have been really dangerous for us. Clear it down the field. See what Arrow does. Not the greatest catch. Not the greatest touch either from me. Let's see what happens with Arrow. I'm gonna force this. That's fine. Good clear. It goes around one player. Maybe a shot downfield. Make sure I clear this to the corner. And then I just need to put this. Need to guide this in real quick. Oh, okay, it's in. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was going on. I couldn't see. That's gonna be a good win there. I think Torment missed the ball in the corner off that weird bounce, and then the other demo came through from memory. So pretty solid games. All right, hope you guys enjoyed those games. A lot of fun. Definitely really interesting talking about space and how to generate it. I hope you guys learned something. If you didn't get anything from it, let me know in the comments, and I can try my best to rediscuss it in the future. But until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.